I was wrong. The right needle length for microneedling, for hair loss and hair growth is actually one millimeter, not 1.5 millimeter. Hi, my name is Iman. I suffer from hair loss. And on this channel, we talk about natural, scientifically backed methods to combat hair loss. And I wanna be completely upfront with you guys. I've been derma rollering for a long time and it is one of the key components of why I was able to regrow thicker, more fuller hair. And along the way, I have made some mistakes. That's why this video is a must watch if you are thinking about microneedling or you are suffering from hair loss because I'm gonna break down what I got wrong. I wanna be completely upfront. I did get the needle size depth wrong because there is new research now to suggest one millimeter is actually the ideal length for hair growth. Let's talk about why. Now I have been using 1.5 millimeter for a long time and it has been really beneficial to me. If you are using 1.5, don't panic. You can just reduce the pressure that you're using. Remember, you can control the depth that the needle goes in. So if you are lightly microneedling like this, you're not gonna get the full depth of 1.5. The research suggests that 1.5 millimeter just flat line results, AKA you get more results with one millimeter versus 1.5 millimeters. So yeah, so don't freak out. So first we're gonna talk about why derma rollering works, the difference between one millimeter and 1.5 millimeter, choosing the right derma roller, how to use a one millimeter derma roller effectively, and we're gonna be talking about some real results from real people at the end, so make sure to check it out. So, derma rollering works by making micro injuries in the scalp. This stimulates blood flow, it gets collagen production, it also increases growth factors, and IGF-1 is a growth factor. It's an instruction to give your hair follicles the instructions it needs to grow, and the nutrients that get delivered through blood and oxygen is one of the key factors in growing hair and fighting hair loss, especially as DHT can actually reduce the oxygen getting to your hair follicles. So microneedling is by far the best way to fight hair loss in my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of scientific research as well as medics and doctors as well. I love that it's natural, it's effective. I'm the guinea pig, I've been using it for years and I've seen amazing results. For me, it's a no brainer. And the fact we're getting more and more research done, it's just a great way to fight hair loss without getting those side effects that you would get from minoxidil, itchy scalp, heart palpitations, loss of libido. Finished dried is also something I would never take because you have to be on those pills forever. So it's safe, it's effective, and we know it works. So the new study found that actually using 1.5 millimeter flatlined results. So the users who used one millimeter saw more significant change in their hair growth. They had significant improvement in their hair loss, significant improvement in their hair density. And that's what I love about microneedling is that your hair density thickens. So I have miniaturization, I suffer from androgenetic alopecia. So my hair gets thinner and thinner. So density is really important to me. It thickens the hair strand and microneedling is a great way to do that. So I will link the study, but here are some of the extracts from the study um, overlaid. And this group saw the most significant results. So I would recommend one millimeter derma roller because you cannot at the same time choose the right needle length because your pressure as in the way that you use your micro needling device dictates how far the needle goes in now we know that there are three layers first layer is all your skin your scalp stratum corneum then you have the epidermis then you have the dermis and below that you have nerves veins arteries and tissue you want to go past the epidermis into the dermis where collagen is produced where igf1 that growth factor is produced and one millimeter just gets past the epidermis into the dermis so remember 0.5 millimeter is more about increasing absorption if you want to actually have a hair growth proactive approach to hair loss and hair growth then you need to get a larger size remember if you have a 1.5 millimeter derma roller do not worry it is when you go past two millimeters is when you are causing damage scarring and going past that dermis layer into where there's nerves arteries you don't want to be doing that i want to correct the record i'm always reading new scientific research and one millimeter is the best length and one thing you want to realize is that you don't need excessive bleeding to know that it works if the area has gone red 
that is sufficient to know that you have done the microneedling effectively. Choosing the right derma roller. It's really important to make sure you are picking the right derma roller because not all derma rollers are made equal. So there are different derma rollers on the market. This one is made out of titanium, metal wheel discs. It's super detrimental to your hair. They rust easily and they are in the shape of triangular knives rather than needles. It's micro needling, not micro slicing. When you are using this gem roller, it can cause tram track scarring. And those micro injuries are more of a slash rather than a very pinpoint area. So it's very detrimental to your scalp. Lastly, stainless steel is the best type of material when it comes to needles. In surgeries, medical grade stainless steel is what is used. Remember that titanium is a stronger material than stainless steel. So getting the titanium to be sharp very difficult because it's a very strong metal and it can blunt more easily if you guys don't know I have been a little bit MIA but I have been rebranding beer and I'm so excited to relaunch my new business which is Syra. I've been working on this for over two years and one of the new flagship products is the glow derma roller I have it in two sizes one millimeter and 0.5 millimeter it comes in this beautiful case to make sure your needles are protected because there's nothing worse than making your needles blunt, having to change them often. So making sure you keep your derma roller in your case is paramount. And it has individual needles, it's stainless steel, it still has the same beer trademark. I've linked it in the description, you guys can get 10% off. Now we're gonna talk about how to use the one millimeter derma roller to get the most effective result, when to use it, how often to use it. So follow these simple steps. One is disinfect. First step is always disinfection. You wanna use 70% isoprol alcohol, but it's rubbing alcohol and you wanna make sure you soak your derma roller for at least 10 minutes. I normally give it a rinse afterwards and let it dry because uh, I don't like the alcohol to go on my scalp, but it's completely up to you. It's also, alcohol is fast evaporating, so it doesn't really leave that much residue on the needles anyway. After I micro needle, I also use a soft bristle toothbrush and disinfect the derma roller in between the needles because you can get dead skin cells, dirt that gets in trapped between the needles and it's very difficult if you're just going to soak it in alcohol so I always use a soft bristle toothbrush to get in there. As part of that process you want to make sure your scalp is clean. The best thing to do is micro needle your scalp after you've had a shower. You don't want any product buildup, any gels, any mists or anything like that. Make sure it's completely clean. And lastly, you wanna roll in all directions, vertically, horizontally, and diagonally. And remember, you want the scalp area to go red. I normally part my hair in sections and micro needle. Happy micro needling!